Oh no, the gulpers have gone mad again. That's it. Get out of it. Get out of it, mate. Don't come back. Bad. Naughty gulper. This is what happens when you do too much scorch. You go all bloody mad and then you get all weird and red and bloody. G'day, this is Captain Noob, and I've got one question. Can these super mutants next door shut up? The answer to that question is yes, which is good news, because that means we're one for one going into the second question, which is, can you solve a colossal problem using nothing but grenades? I've got Nuka Quantum grenades. I sat there on a Tinker's workbench for like five minutes, spamming E, space, and enter at the same time, and happened to get myself about a thousand of these things, all for my throwing pleasure. So, what we're doing here is we've put a build that has just the explosive perks in it. So, here we go. We've got a couple of things that are super relevant here. Fire on the hole is relevant because we can see the arc, which means we can accurately put the grenades in a specific position. And we're going to throw them further, which is good for getting ourselves out of the splash radius at most times. Not a huge deal if we've got a dense chest piece, but... These things do a ton of damage, so it's good to just get out of their explosive radius in general. Grenade is going to make their explosion radius massive. It's going to be huge. We've also got Demolition Expert as well. That's a 60% bonus damage. I, I don't... I think that's multiplicative still, but that's, that's big. So that gives us already uh, 816. Obviously, there's a couple of things like a not bloody mess, which I neglected to put on, so... Potentially you could do this quicker. But the main method of this is just going to be utilizing Enforcer to keep him pinned so we can toss grenades from a safe distance. And we've got Escape Artist and Sneak to keep ourselves hidden in that bit of adrenaline. So if we happen to pick up anything else in the splash radius and kill them, it awards us bonus damage. Got ourselves some Tenderizer. And mainly it's follow through here. It's all about follow through. The magic mosquito of extra damage is back. It's always here. It's the main way you can get damage in this game because it's still multiplicative. It's a very good perk. And we're going to use that. And the weapon of choice is going to be a junkie's combat shotgun. Now, you'll note that in my uh, little health bar down there on the AP bar next to the mutations mark is a bunch of addictions. You'll see one, two, three, four, five. And you also note that this thing is a junkie's combat shotgun. And what I observed with using these ones back when I used to record weapon spotlights, maybe that series will be brought back one day, but there's nothing interesting to be found out with that now, um, is that if you equip this and thus engage the uh, junkie's bonuses, you can see that it's uh, engaging them when I equip the weapon. It gives me extra damage. It actually increases the damage of these grenades as well. So we'll be utilizing that to give myself another 50% additive bonus, I guess. So it's, it ain't nothing. And down there in Nerd Rage means I'm sneaky and stuff. Extra perception, extra luck, extra agility for doing stuff in vats and stuff. Basically, all we're doing in vats is just crippling the thing anyway. Also, this is Harley. Have you seen her before? She was a combat medic, but I got no idea what to do with her. So... I'm gonna make her throw a bunch of grenades. Hey Harley, how you doing? Wave to the camera. Wave. There we go. Look at her go. It's her first video, I think. Alright, we're 20 seconds from starting the grand fight. The the great big fight. And I hope I've got enough here, so we'll see how we go. But we'll get started. We'll uh, grab some combat shotgun footage here. Just to give you a reference of how hard it hits. Mainly this thing's for crippling and for junkies but we'll make use of that as we deem necessary and it is necessary for that wendigo to drink his own urine because it's sterile and he likes the taste uh probably should target the legs here just to get started but the crits do okay so that's pretty good and i'm hoping we can cheese some quick follow throughs here because it'll be much needed so he's gonna continue just sort of vibing there eating we'll, we'll drop the grenade in first and then we're going to target the wrong thing. 166, eh? That's not too bad. That's one leg crippled. The other leg crippled. And we'll go for his head there. And then we'll just spam grenades over and over. Yes. That works, kind of. Oops. Oh my god, I've got so many stim packs. <laughs> oh well. I'm seeing a little bit happening. I'm getting like the double explosions at once. If I follow through, I get extra damage. If I if I exchange shots, 
Yes, that works out pretty well. All right, that's what we're doing then. So it'd be good if I had a quad version, but we don't have the ammo capacity to back that up. So a shot, and then a thing, and then a heal, because I'm almost dead. But that's how we're going to do things. 431 on that occasion. That is not bad at all. 434. We're getting him right between the legs here. Make sure we actually execute this properly. Managed to get a ton of damage before, so that was pretty good. But, yeah. The damage is piling in, and if we get it right under him, maybe that does a little bit more damage. Are we hitting, like, two hitboxes there? I see a couple of numbers sort of... Uh, Oops, that's bad. Don't don't swing your weapon. That's how you get detected. But I'm seeing two numbers. They're sort of overlapping on each other, which is pretty good. I'll try to drop it right at his feet there just to see if that does any better. Or perhaps we would swing it out wide to see if the radius does a lot better in terms of damage. Maybe the overlapping numbers is the fact that uh, he is... We're, we're throwing a couple of grenades at once, and the fuse is not instant, so that's him up and about again. Let's make sure he doesn't stick around for much longer. Oh my god, he's running to the drill. He might run to the drill here. If he does, I won't mind, but you know, we need to uphold a decency and behavioral standards here, so let's not bait him into doing that. I copped that right in the face. That's not good. Let's just back off a little bit, because we don't have range when it comes to these nades, I don't think. And if they do have range and explosion radius drop off, then that's kind of silly. But from back here, we can just easily sidestep his attacks. That's 210 there, 238, the uranium or something. Is that the good uranium or the bad stuff? The, the stuff that's not... Uh, Enriched. You gotta get the enriched uranium. That does good. Now, I wonder if we actually hit this guy, whether we get a sneak critical. Is that 91 damage because I hit him with it? What? No way. That can't be right. No, we're getting nowhere bloody near him. Although he's edging near the bloody drill again. Oh, that's that's right. He's, he's relapsing. He's walking right into the bloody thing. I guess... I don't know if we're pushing him at all, but... Alright, no, he's up and about. Almost had me. Thought, thought he did it, didn't in the end, and now he's moonwalking, so that's good. Hopefully I'm not close enough to take damage from my own explosives here. No, that's alright. Managed to take out something in the background there. I think it's just the Wendigo. Wendigos. Actually, you know what? May as well clean a few turds up here. The adrenaline that I can get from it can only help me. Are you on the move again? No? So I'm getting like a 1k damage on those chumps, which is great news. It's a lot of damage. I lost him. No, no, he's over there. He's he's hiding. He he he's he's thinking about the drill again. Stop it. Stop it. This video is sponsored by Makita. By our impact drivers. Earl wax them. <laughs> uh that's what I get for shilling. And we need to run because we haven't got to mutation threshold yet and we're almost five minutes down here So we gotta get our asses down there so we can uh, What's what are they calling dead money begin again and Hello I'm gonna toss some nades around. Maybe I'll pick up a I think I see him. He's over there All right a little bit silly a little bit careless. I must I must confess could have gone better But we'll keep this We'll actually cripple him this time. That's him completely stopped. So let's just sit under him whilst he's doing that. That's a good idea. No. We'll go ahead and uh, hit him with this old, this old trick where we alternate between something. So that's 400, 500. That's doing much better. I don't know what I'm doing differently here. It's not Revenant going off. Uh, maybe it's like he's right under... Where the grenade explodes if I do this properly. I'm not really quite sure what's going on. But we had a good little damage streak there. It has to be follow through, right? It has to be. The magic mosquito of doing a shit ton of damage has never let us down and continues not to in this particular instance. We've got a 500 there, 324, 345, I'm seeing. Plenty of good damage here. So, yep. Use follow through for literally everything. That's your lesson. Same thing. You know, I got a comment saying, 
Um, it's basically me doing the same thing over and over, using the same tactics, and, well... Firstly, how dare you talk shit about my buddy follow-through? Follow-through never let me down, and if you use... I mean, look, there's like a strategic dominance sort of thing going on here. If I've found it's the easiest way to get a lot of damage, and it is the easiest way to get a lot of damage really fast, like... Also, the builds thing, people have been calling me my builds bad for ages, so, you know, unless you want to explain exactly how I could improve on them. Uh, well, you got nothing. You ain't even got an SS Commodore either, I had to bring that into it. There we go, there's Mutation Threshold. Let's get you nice and crippled again. Make you a fucking quadriplegic motherfucker. How's that sound? Sounds pretty dandy to me, and if we can push him onto the drill again, that would be funny. So we'll alternate shots and explosives and other things that do damage. That's us in Nerd Rage. I don't really care about that that much. Another one will do. There we go. Now, I believe it's a 10-second interval, right? And I don't know how long it's supposed to last, but that great air perk, the, the, the explosions are deceptively... Massive when it comes to using this. I think that one bounced off his head. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to it. So this is definitely the most effective method. Uh, hopefully, uh, Harley's shoulder won't be too badly damaged after this. And whoops, let's not sit under that. That's dangerous. And okay, the Wendigos are running over there because they hear noises. So that's cool. I don't mind that, and I need to reload this thing. No wonder I wasn't bloody shooting. And we'll shoot again. There we go. Careful not to back our own asses up on the drill. Let's not make an earl of ourselves. And that's some good damage right there. A couple grenades. One, two, three. Splash. One, two, three. Splash. One, two, three. Hit. One, two, hit, one, two, hit, one, two, hit. Yep, that's how you do it. Really smashing the crap out of the alt key here. And let's not step under that. There is natural gas deposits that'll get ya. So from back here, getting a lot of damage. It's just, it's all over the place. I don't know if there's some soft, like, radius type stuff that is causing extra damage. But if I land it right under him, I, I seem to have found the sweet spot where I can get the arc to safely put the grenade right below where it needs to go. So this is the way to do it. And it keeps us nice and safe from his attacks because we just step to the side as Wendigo corpses and shit get thrown around. Very nice. Quite like that. I actually really like this as like a crowd control thing. Now, normally you wouldn't be able to get away with this. I'm not running the asbestos lines. So that's why I'm watching for those little flamey nonsense that comes out the top. But, um, you know, if you look out for that and you stay on the correct side of the arena, you don't have to worry about that whatsoever. And you could potentially use that just for a quick crowd control thing if you've got the room and the perception for a grenadier, which I think is excellent. So... I might consider that just for crowd control when weapons aren't as good for a, a bunch of these little Wendigos running at you, like the laser gun, hunting rifle, lever action rifle, although some of them you can suppress, which takes the pressure off you. You just want to deal with them fast so you can get to the main meat of the uh, colossal problem, which is this guy, who is uh, currently not taking as much damage as I'd like. Fresh mag in that. And then... Whilst those two grenades are going over, we'll pop the grenade, another grenade in. Sort of experimenting with the timing of this. There's not a whole lot to be uh, said here. The uh, the weapon, I mean, the grenades are doing well. The reason you wouldn't want to do this in any bloody server ever is because how many bloody nuclear quantums it take to make these grenades. They simply don't really justify themselves here in terms of what kind of damage they do. Um, for the crowd control of throwing one or two and just letting, like, throw and forget type system of just throwing them and let the- shut up, Bruno, I'm talking. 
yeah, you just, you just let the crowd control. That sort of speaks to it. Doing main damage, although it does a nice amount, it must be said, it's going to take you a lot of grenades to do it. And as I'm recording this, there's no ability to increase the grenade yield other than um, the 30% out of stupid duper perk, whatever the fuck it's called. So, yeah, you can't get it out of um, the perk called... Uh, Ammo Smith, either the ones of the Sentry Bot with the bandolier, that one. Is that am Ammo Factory? Ammo Smith is the one in agility, but it'd be nice if you get a little bit more yield out of your grenades with that. And I'd speak of like crafting yields, not payload yield. Although they could do that. Honestly, at this point, the amount of screen shake I am like experiencing and the amount of like flashing blue lights. It's a nice contrast to the otherwise orange and sort of uh, green dark arena, it must be said, but it's starting to make me nauseous right now. And that's not because I had lasagna for dinner. That's, that's different. <laughs> oh, now I remember. I had lasagna. That's from Airplane, that one. I think it was, it was flying high in Australia, but it's got Leslie Nielsen and it's one of the funniest movies ever. Absolutely brilliant. So, um, he would do his, like, screamy thing, but I think we're hitting him so much in the legs that he literally cannot, cannot regenerate his leg health there because we just keep blowing him up. So that's good. It's the equivalent of, uh, I don't know, something. Little known fact, uh, uh Harley over here, she was in the leagues for, like, pitching and bait... Actually, no, cricket season's on. Let's let's make this about cricket because, you know, it's a thing. So, the Ashes are on right now. Amer uh, Australia versus England. They, they fight over the burnt ashes of the little... of the bales from a thing. It's like a... it's a big tradition. It's cool. But, yeah, currently Australia are in a good spot. We're almost around 200 runs up at this stage. It's the first uh, test. They've, they've got a few of those going on. Hey, look, the Mothman Equinox is on. I'll get to that later, honestly. And this is a nice little point to get the Wendigo summon because it'll give me free adrenaline. And I, I guess I killed that one that was screaming. I, I was trying to aim for its legs or something. And ooh, you see that nice little Palpatine jump that little Wendigo did? Ooh, that was close. Dense chest piece is never, ever underestimate them. And whoops, almost died there. Was that because Serendipity didn't go off? I don't even know at this point. But we're almost there. If we can do this before 10 minutes, then I guess that's kind of cool. Um, we're going to have to go to a physio to get this shoulder looked at because, uh, yeah, Harley's going to be sore in the morning. But anyway, she's like the world's fastest bowler in the, in the female cricket team. And they, they won them. They, they won many things, even though she's not Australian. And not in Australia. We're in America, damn it. But you know what? These characters are a blank slate anyway of only one in their special stats, supposedly the best and the brightest. They say, you know what, Harley, you've got a nice, you've got a nice uh, throwing arm. That's, that's your deal. You just toss grenades until the event's over. And that is exactly how things went. And it went like that for ages. But it looks like Earl is on his last legs now, no pun intended, so let's make this a little bit more personal, shall we? Yeah, there he goes. Take that, Earl, dumbass. We'll just keep spamming these grenades like he spams his bloody loogies over there. How's that make you feel, Mr. Earl? But you don't like that, do ya? Hey? Hey? Ooh, we got killed there. But then Mysterious Savior showed up, and now I've got a laser beam where my shoulder was. It's like one of those bendy laser beams. Anyways, throw that last one. And the ammo check, 788, so around 300-ish. So, that's kind of cool. Here lies Earl. Um, bowled him out. For oh, this is all near black corpses. <laughs> I was going to say... Uh, yeah, so this is one of the things that Bethesda added, and it's about time they did something. Two meters? Oh, it's uh, two million meat piles. So, uh, yeah, you gotta scroll down for the legendary goods here. Right? Uh, no. You, well, I wanted to see what this vampire's Gatling Plasma was without picking it up, but here we are. That's 
honestly not great rolls. Um, so there you have it. It looks like you can do it with specific throwables. That one obviously was the, uh, it was the something. It was like a, a nuka grenade. You may have noticed them flying across the screen on multiple occasions. You could probably do this with weaker grenades, but honestly, I'm happy with the time as it was there. So uh, let's bail, shall we? So here we are in Fallout 4 for the outro again, because I wanted to be, and this is Phoebe. She is the great-great-granddaughter of Harley, because, you know, Fallout 4 is set a couple of hundred years later. Anyways, she's wearing the Cerberus suit. Miranda wears it in Mass Effect 2 and 3 when she makes a cameo. And I feel like it fits, because, you know, the Institute is white, and this is a white suit, and, you know, Phoebe's Institute aligned, and, yep, it fits. So, what'd you think of that? We actually managed to do it just with throwables. Now, if I was using plasma grenades, that may have taken a bit longer or not as long, depending on how it went down. I actually wouldn't know. I was going to use the nuke grenades, the ones that just do the standard nuclear explosion, but the radiation hazard there was just too much, and it's a lot safer and a lot more stronger per grenade just to throw the quantum ones. You'd never actually be able to do that in actual real... Fallout 76 unless you had like duper connections but you know for science we managed to do it and it worked out um so you can solve it but you probably shouldn't unless you're a duper then go nuts thank you very much for watching guys